pear-shaped. Just starting to move because we're getting close to it. It really is meant to stay still when there's no passenger on board. So it begins to get going a little bit early, I feel. And as you can see, we've got a little bit of motion. Try going forward. Touching control, but here I am. I am going forward now. And I seem to be going up. Why am I going up? Yeah, let's pull it back into neutral. Try going forward again. Not a lot of anything. A bit more forward, please. Not really interested. Still going up for a good turn. The wheel is stunningly, stunningly temperamental. That should be taking me round to the left and it's doing nothing. No, 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 no. Stop, stop that wheel. Right, we are going up for some reason. And if we go that way, surprisingly fast, and try and turn in a direction. Any direction would be nice now. I'll turn close to this guy. I can probably pop down to his patio and we'll both stop. As you can see, I have a lot of control problems. That definitely has to be worked out, but I'm not quite sure what's the problem. Okay, a little look at the airship and the controls behind it. Here we are in Unity, the airship. I have an airship script which is parameterized in the hope that I'll be able to reuse this script on uh, different forms of airship. It has a uh, width of the controls for moving up or left or forward. It has uh, a link to myself, the character, uh, because the character has to move at the same speed as the airship, otherwise the airship moves underneath the character and I fall off the airship. Uh, it also has a, a glider to check whether I'm on board or not. Uh, the glider uh, checks in the script whether I'm uh, inside that glider uh, and uh, we'll, we'll take a look at that later. Here's some speed modifiers and then there is uh, just one bit at the end here. Uh, if you want to rotate anything else, I've got the propeller at the back. Uh, rotate when I move forward, but I think I've got to show you that. So the controls are all attached to the stand uh, here, which have a rigid body. Uh, uh, they are all attached with hinge joints, so the steering wheel can rotate in 360, the handle can only do about 90 or so, and the lever is even more limited than that. Take a look at the script. What's interesting on the script? Uh, there's an initial capture of everybody's positions, in particular the control positions in their local rotation, because later on I will say, well, what have they moved to? Therefore, they should now be moving, you know, indicating that I should be moving forward. Here's that useful check. This is the collider, which says, oh, do I contain the player inside my collider space? And if I do, then let's do all the visual movement. Uh, otherwise, let's just stay still. Uh, here, I'm just saying, well, how much have I moved from, from the last frame? Because I capture that for the airship and then use it to move the character in step with the airship. There's that fun little bit where I just rotate uh, any propellers that I have uh, listed at the same speed of going forward. And these three are the vital bits to say, well, if the handle is um, now moved away from its initial rotation, multiply it by a modifier, use that as a speed for moving the whole airship forward and the same for moving up or down or rotating the airship. Not totally working, but I've been in much worse places during the week, so I thought you'd 
or do I show where I was now? 